uh, we recently had the, um, the, the privilege of finding a property for my 22 year old millennial daughter who bought, you know, a condominium in Philadelphia. It's an awesome property, but it needed renovation. Well, Lisa, my wife, my chief Matterport officer, one of the first things she did was, and I'm going to jump ahead, is she created, um, excuse me, she created a floor plan of this property. And we used it to hand to the, you know, to the contractors and said, here's the wall we want to move out. This is where we want to put the island. And it has so many other applications. I am enamored. I don't know if you can tell, but I am enamored by your technology because <laughs> I am a tech geek. So I'll, I'll, I'll say that. But this is a, I'm showing you an actual screenshot, the, 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 vir the visual tour we just watched, 429 Conestoga Road in Berwyn. This is what your camera, this is what it does. And I was hoping you could, this thing blows me away. The AI that's in this, first of all, I don't tell the computer, the kick camera, anything, the room names. And I'd like to, I'm just going to bring up a, a, a laser pointer so you can see, like, I'm circling the family room, for example. Like, Dan, how the heck does this computer software, supercomputer, how, could you explain, like, how does it do this? Well, I could probably well, I could probably find someone at Matterport to spend five hours talking about <laughs> deep learning and how all of that works. But I'll try to I'll try to condense it down here to something a little bit short. You know, the advantage you know, one of the you know Matterport's captured there are three nearly three million spaces Whoa. right since we launched you know since we really launched the general public in 2014 with our first camera right three million spaces now there are four billion buildings in the world to our best estimates. Uh, we actually put some summer interns on that project to try to figure out how many buildings there were in the world. And the number they came back with was 4 billion. Um, <laughs> but so, you know, we've then taken all these matter ports and we use them with human help to train a computer to identify spaces. Like our first spaces that we identified were pretty easy, like kitchens and like a common area, right? Kitchen's really easy. You've usually got a sink, a stove, a microwave, or a refrigerator. And what you do is you show a computer lots of pictures of kitchens, right? And it starts to learn and say, this, you, know, what, you know, what kitchens are in it? Then starts to guess, is this a kitchen? And a human will help them out and say, yeah, that's right. No, it's not. So it can get better. And then you start doing that for other rooms so that we can actually start to identify each room based on its location within the house, the contents of that room. Right. Right. You know, and then the size and kind of layout of it. Now, it isn't always perfect. I've done like, you know, I do a commercial space and sometimes it'll label a conference room, a dining room. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, but you know, it's but it's, it's something that's constantly learning. But even better now is we've taken that a step further. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but we you know we auto generate photos, 2D photos of every listing. They're in that photos tab within the Matterport cloud. Um, and what we're doing is we're saying, OK, this is a dining room or this is a bedroom. Right. We see the bed. The software sees the bed and it goes, OK, what are my rules for taking a really good photo of a bedroom? Right. Well, I want the bed in the middle on an angle, the best angle I can with at least three walls showing. But if you can't get all three, try to get two. Right. And then boom, click. It takes a photo with the right balance of ceiling to floor. Right. As, as you can from the camera angle. And it can go through the whole house and do that without any human intervention. The floor plans work along the same lines. Uh, we QA it, of course, you know, before we deliver it out to you, you know, so if, if something is mislabeled, it's corrected before you would even see it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's absolutely incredible. And if I could, you know, this, this technology, what you see with the floor plans, what you see with the photos, what you see with this deep learning is really part of a much larger, a much larger thing. And if, we're, if we want to think about like, you know, how, how does this really benefit real estate and sellers and, and buyers here? Let's even think a bigger picture, right? Let's think about the whole life cycle of how you might use a Matterport tour. First off, your listing agent does a tour of a Matterport of a house, Matterport of a house, so that right we can you can show it virtually, right? So that you can bring more people in, whether they're coming in online or coming in in person, right? Now let's imagine a world. Okay, there's an offer out in the house, and you send that tour to the mortgage company, and the mortgage company sends it to the appraiser. And maybe the appraisal can get done, 
right? Without having to send someone out, right? This in, in this in this you know world of sort of COVID nineteen, we want to limit you know anything that we can do that limit people from going in and out of spaces and moving around is a benefit to all of us. So you know maybe maybe the mortgage company, all they need instead of photos and a full appraisal is a Matterport tour, and they can do a desktop appraisal. So, you know, oh, I love that. Like that, right? Now let's go one step further. The new buyer, the new owner comes in, and the first thing they do is get another Matterport done, right? And they turn it over to their insurance company, and their insurance company gives them a discount on their premium because they have a static, full record of what that property looks like. And now, even let's let's say, you know, worst case scenario, now there's a loss. And the remediation company comes in and captures it so they can document the loss. And now the insurance company has a before, has a loss. You know, the um, remediation company is now using the Matterport to measure and an estimate the materials they will need to do the repair, right? They can then send that off to the insurance company and then they will then document the work when it's done. So your insurance company has a full documented record of pre-loss, loss, and repair. And now you can take all this information and use it, you know, in deep learning algorithms to make that process more efficient, to make it faster, to save time, to spend less time sending another person out to make, do a measurement, another person out to do an estimation, another person out, you know, to, to, to estimate uh, materials, right, and to verify the work is complete, right? That whole life cycle saves everyone time and money. That's, uh, and that's what's so amazing about your uh, technology, but you talked a little bit before about the um, uh, statistics, okay? And that's what I really have focused in on, and I find them, like, mind-blowing. Like, uh, first of all, the, the project you mentioned about hiring the interns, I love that because I do <laughs> tons of research. I'm a, I, I'm a very curious person, and we've done a whole bunch of different research assignments, and some we haven't even finished, but we're working on a couple. We have some in, in process right now. So to me, that's a, that, 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 your market's got to be, like, amazing. Like, your, your upside's got to be huge of what you can do. But what I saw statistically was, and I saw these um, on, on some, some Matterport statistics, and certainly chime in if there's something you want to add about, you know, the virtual – tours get clicked 40% more often. So listings with a virtual tour get clicked, okay? So the, the, the real estate agents or brokers on the line right now, pay attention. This is, this is really, really important. And then if you have the tours, you're getting 95% more inquiries. So there's another benefit, okay? And then you're getting these 65% are getting more um, email inquiries. So, so Dan, I did a little local... Um, deep dive and Tracy on my team and I think I said it earlier you know, put together um, some statistics about like and I wish I could share this it's just a very very long spreadsheet with a lot of data but what Tracy did which was so interesting is she looked at we only took five school districts in our marketplace and we said let's see how many of these properties actually have um, a virtual tour and what we find, which was kind of amazing, um, we looked at, and uh, for those on the call that know the areas, we looked at Lower Murrian, we looked at Haverford School District, we looked at Radnor School District, Tredyffrin East Town, or TE, and Great Valley. So this is, Dan, we're kind of suburban Philadelphia. I didn't focus on Philadelphia, although we do service that market. I just looked at this, and the reason I did is we did a similar study back in 2015 so we're trying to see what the growth was and what was happening in the trajectory of that. And we found that so much of the population didn't have so many of these listings, 65% didn't, which I found really amazing. What I found more surprising is there was only 4% of the, of the active listings on right now in COVID-19 with floor plans, okay? And of course, like I said earlier, we've been using these, uh, this technology since we acquired the technology. And thanks to Lisa Furman, who's on the call as my CMO, um, she has been a huge um, asset to us because she's the one that goes in and captures all these tours that, like you said, and I never really thought through all the other implications. Like when you mentioned about insurance and you mentioned I mean, you, my eyes lit up when you talked about desktop, you know, the appraisal, which is being turned upside down now with COVID and, 
you know, we're seeing that. And this is another benefit. So what I would want to ask you is for those on the call right now, Dan, what advice would you give an agent that's listening that maybe isn't using the technology? What, what would you tell them to do? Well, let me, let me start this. Let me add to some of your stats first and, uh, and they'll probably figure They'll probably figure this one out pretty quickly. Okay. Uh, we, we did, we had a study done. This is actually not something that we um, initiated, but we had a, a PhD candidate come to us and say, Hey, I'm studying media and the effect on real estate. And I've had come up with some really interesting results specific to Matterport, right? Would love to like work with you and continue to work on this. And we did some studies um, in a couple of, uh, a couple markets in, uh, in Texas uh, you know, where they were working. We've expanded to some other major markets, but the results were fairly consistent. Uh, properties with a Matterport spend 31% fewer days on market. Oh, love it. Right. And they sell at a 9% higher sale price than comparable properties that don't have a Matterport. Right. Think about that. You know, it, it, it goes to the anecdotes that we've talked about, right? And I know you're, you've talked about for years, right? We're bringing more people in. Well, the more people you bring in, the more offers you're going to get, the higher price you're going to sell for, the faster you're going to sell for. You know, now we just actually have the, the data that's backing that up. We also, and I, I was pulling up some of these stats here. Um, this will help some of your agents out there. We, we, we did a survey of 1,000 sellers and 1,000 buyers. Okay. You know, and asked them. And here's what we found. 83% of millennials and 94% of Gen Z would switch to an agent offering Matterport services, right? Think about that. You know, 63% of Gen Xers, right? I mean, we're still talking a, uh, you know, a large majority here. Um, and that 80% 80, 80 of all respondents would switch to an agent offering immersive Matterport tours on their listed properties, right? Um, 99% of sellers think that a 3D tour gives their listing a competitive edge. Right. So if you're going out there winning listings, sellers are they're, they're already thinking this is going to give my listing a competitive edge. And you're telling them this is going to give my listing a competitive edge. Right. So if there's the advice I'd give. It's, you know, respond to your seller. Think about your, you know, this is we know that this will help sell homes faster. Right. You know, will help, you know, help at a higher price. These are these are things that also benefit the seller because they disrupt the seller's life less. They get them out of their house that they're in, that they're selling and into their new house quickly. And that's, you know, that's just as much the goal, you know, of a good, of a good real estate agent as simply getting that house sold, right? You want to make your, you know, the, the life, you know, the life of your seller as you know, um, easy as possible during this process. And you want to get them onto the next stage of their life as quickly as you can.